Let me tell you what I have no tolerance to deal with. Married men, okay? Get in here, get in here, get in here right now, okay? We're going to have a quick story time. I'm going to tell you about a situation that happened to me when I first moved to LA, okay? You got to picture it, honey. I was... I was just as cute, honey. Look at this body, okay? I'm almost 40 and look at me, all right? But baby, so you got to imagine I look back then, honey. I was just moving to LA. Cute. Give me, thank you for sharing this video, Renee. You doing it fast. Renee, Donna sharing it too. Oh my goodness. Kevin shared it too, y'all. Give me, this is a good story time, okay? Listen, just listen to the background if you're at work or whatever, right? It'll be cute. Don't worry. I won't put nothing crazy in it so your kids are all right. So anyway, I just moved to LA. And I'm going to be real with you, Okay. Some people knew my name. They knew my face from the videos and everything like that. But truth be told, a girl was broke, honey, okay? I had my little one-bedroom apartment right off of Wilshire. All I could afford was the mattress on, like, the little um, bed stand. I didn't have a headboard. I didn't have a sofa. I had a little $19 Ikea bar stool that I ate in the kitchen. I had two place sets, right? Two, a plate um, and two plates, two forks, two glasses, okay? If one broke, I would have been, been a mess, honey. One set of sheets. You see what I'm saying? I was broke. Okay, I used to go to the Rouse across. I'm painting a picture for you so you can understand this story, okay? I used to go to the Rouse um, across the street, and I would get their little, it was $8 to get eight pieces of chicken. Fried, that chicken was good. I would have that with a little a, a box of salad, and that's how I got through, baby. I was broke, okay? So when um, he DM'd me, okay, blue check mark and all, okay, okay, you, you know what I mean by blue check mark? Celebrity status, okay? I ain't even a blue check mark back then, right? He DM'd me, thank you for sharing this video, Gloria and Christy and Henry, thank you for sharing it. So he DM'd me and was like, hey, you know, um, I see from your photos, you just moved to LA, I've been following you for a little while now, blah, 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 boop, 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 you know, I would love to um, be able to take you out. I was like, okay. Now, mind you, on his page, and I'm not going to tell you what he does, I'm not going to tell you nothing else, so I'm not trying to tell nobody's tea. So anyway... On his page, there was no indication of a relationship with anybody. It was just pictures of him with his brand that he does, blah, 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 blah. Thank you for sharing this video. So we go out, right? And what we did was we went out to, oh gosh, what was it? It was, um, what's that hotel? The one right on, um, right in Koreatown. Um, the Line, the Line Hotel, real cute hotel. So anyway, we went there and you know, if you go there, you go upstairs and they have like the little outdoor area by the pool. It's like a little pool area and everything like that. It was beautiful. So we sat up there and we just sat there and talked, you know, back then I had my little cocktail and everything like that. He comes in, baby, he is as fine as he looks in the pictures, okay? This man is everything and more, okay? A big enough star where I was kind of shocked that he was reaching out to me, but not big enough of a star for me to, but not so big that everyone, that everyone was in his face when we were there. That's all I'm saying, right? But this story can relate to many of y'all because some of y'all dealing with married men anyway. Okay, let's, just not, let's not go there. Okay, so anyway, so we sit down, we start talking, everything like that. And me, I kind of came in with just the whole, like, I had an open mind. I don't know anything about this man. I don't know how he lives his life or anything like that. And then, so he's talking to me and he's like, you know, yeah, I just, I've been following you for a while. I really like your, your videos. They're so inspirational, blah, blah, blah. I'm thinking, okay, this man likes my videos, whatever. As time goes along and everything like that, you know, we both have our little cocktails and everything like that. And as we're laughing and everything like that and joking before you know it, I know as he's, as I'm telling, I'm funny. So as I start telling jokes, his hands somehow another start gripping my knee and everything like that. Before I know it, his chair is moving close to me and his arms around my chair as he's talking. Da, 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 da. And it was going from a real just platonic conversation. I'm like, this man really likes me. Because let me say this, I couldn't read his tea at first. I didn't know if this man liked men or nothing. I mean, you could say he invited you out to lunch, at, you know, whatever, dinner, whatever. You got to like men. But that's not always the case. Plenty of straight men, you know, like, oh, I want to get to know you. Let's hang out, blah, 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 blah. Don't be so narrow-minded to think that just because somebody's saying I want a gay dude, that, that, that that makes him gay. So I wasn't thinking anything like that. But then as he starts doing all this, I'm like, okay, he clearly is interested in me. And then so I was like, I'm going to get up and go to the restroom because I had to go to the restroom. And so I was going up to the restroom. As I go into the restroom, um, I go in to get myself together and everything like that. And then I come back out. And as I'm coming out, he's standing right in front of the restroom door as if he's walking into. So I'm opening the door and, he, and he's as he's opening it himself. So, I'm, so as I'm doing, he kind of he's like, he kind of falls into me. And we were a little tipsy, so he kind of falls into me like that. And I was like, oh, my God. So he does. So he puts his hand around my back. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. And so now I'm just standing there and his arm is wrapped around me. We are face to face. I'm looking up at him and he's like, I think I'll, he said, you caught me before I fell. He's looking down at me, you caught me before I fell. And I'm looking up at him. I'm like, I guess I did. 
And we're like standing in each other's eyes. It's one of those moments, you know what I'm talking about? Where you like look in somebody's eyes, you don't expect to catch their eyes, but you're just looking in each other's eyes and it's that moment. And if I had ever had a reason to question, was this man interested in me? Did he want me? That moment resolved all questions. Cause we're looking in each other's eyes and I was just like, um, well, anyway, you need to go in the restroom? He was like, I do, I do. He wouldn't look away. So I just kind of moved away because I don't care who you are, honey. You can have a blue check mark, you have a billion dollars, you have a Bentley in the driveway. I'm not kissing on the first date, period, okay? Well, not all the time, honey. I was like, you know, anyway, so listen. So anywho, um, so I get back to the table and as I'm sitting there, my heart is pounding because I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, this is something different, this is something different. So he comes back to the table and then he sits down, but he sits right beside me, right? And... He's just like, I'm thinking it's going to be awkward. That's what I feared. He puts his arm around my chair, right? And he's like, oh. so you felt that? I was like, felt what? What you mean? I'm acting coy. What you mean? It's like, did you feel what I felt in that bathroom? I said, why don't you describe to me what you felt? Why don't you describe to me? Right? I'm being coy. And he's like, that we definitely have chemistry and it's going to be trouble. Now, if a man tells you it's about to be trouble, you already know where his mind is at, honey. All right? I was like, I said, well, what kind of trouble are you thinking? He's like, he's like, he's like, I'm just saying this chemistry is going to be trouble because I can't, I can see right now, I'm going to not want to ever be away from you because it's, it's powerful. And I'm thinking, honey, he just talking. Men love to talk. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Men flatter. I love, and let me tell you this. I love when a man flatters me. I love it. I love, even though I, I don't buy 90% of it. Now, if you flatter me consistently, then I may buy it. Plus, I, I love all that. Run your mouth, run your mouth, run your mouth. I love all that, okay? I'm one of those girls. Just flatter me, do all that, right? I was like, I said, whatever, whatever, which is a part of my flirtation technique, okay? I play coy while still leaning. So I'm, I'm, I'm saying whatever, but what I'm really saying is do more, okay? So the smart ones know to keep doing more. I'm like, whatever, whatever, mm, whatever. Thank you for sharing this video, Brenda and, and Tracy and Dale. Um, let me know y'all share so I can call y'all out, okay? You know, I love to do that. So anywho, so then um, I said, well, um, I said, well, this is going to be no trouble this evening because I need to get home. I've got things to do tomorrow. Girl, I ain't had nothing to do tomorrow, but I knew uh -uh, I need to go. All right. And so he's like, okay, cool. Um, do you want me to um, get you a ride back? I was like, you know, not after we've been drinking. You don't need to drive, ride me nowhere. He's like, no, I, you know, I have a car service. I can, take, I can take you back. And I'm thinking, he don't even need to know where I live. That's cool. Because I, remember, I wasn't exactly proud of my living circumstances at the time. I was like, no, I'm good. I'll call my Uber, right? Went home. It wasn't even, like, I hadn't even been in the door for 30 minutes. Thank you for sharing this video on Norma um, and, um, and Diana. Thank you for sharing it. I hadn't been in the house for 30 minutes. And right as I'm texting him to say, I made it home safe. Always let the man know you made it home safe. Right as I'm texting him to say, hey, I made it home safe. Guess what he does? He sends me a text message. And this text message starts with three hearts, like three hearts, three little red hearts. Thank you for sharing this video. Let me know y'all share so I can call you out. And he says, he says to me, you are the most beautiful person I've met. You're refreshing. It's just like he had line by line. You're the most beautiful person I've ever met. You're refreshing. You're kind. You're blah, 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 blah. It was just going on and on and on and on and on and on. And on. It's just like a stream of thought. They Because each of those sentences were a separate text. So it's just like text, 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 right? As I'm trying to text him back, it's a new one. It's a new one. It's a new one. It's a new one. And he said, please tell me that you have some time tomorrow to spend with me. Right? I was like, I really ain't got nothing to do. I really ain't got nothing to do, right? And so I was like, I think I'm available in the afternoon. What did you want to do? He's like, that's perfect. Let's go watch the sunset. So we went and we met up right in Malibu, right? He was the first person who showed me Zuma Beach, right? When you go up in North Malibu. And so I met him up there, pulled in, and we sat there on the beach. Now, you know, Malibu, people think that Malibu is going to be hot. It's really not. It can be kind of chilly, in, in my opinion. And so anyway, we're sitting on the beach. I'm a little chilly or whatever, and I didn't know better, right? I'm new to L.A., so I'm coming in thinking I'm like going to be at a beach at my, in Miami, right? It's not that at all. It's pretty, but it ain't giving you that kind of heat. So anyway, I'm sitting there in this cute little thing like this, you know, whatever. And I'm like, oh, this is so pretty. This is so nice. And immediately, he takes his jacket. And I think he's going to take it off to give it to me. No, 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 no. He takes his jacket and opens it up. And he said, come here. 
and he wraps his arms around me inside the jacket. So I'm in the jacket with him and we're walking and he's just walking behind me. His legs are so much longer than mine. So we're just walking, he's just walking behind me and everything like that. And you know, he has little sunglasses on and his little cap on. So I knew he felt comfortable, you know, doing him. And so he's walking and as we're walking, He's like, yeah, you know, we're just talking and laughing. I'm just, you know, we're just talking. Oh, it felt so intimate. And then at one point in time, he kind of leans his head down, like on this side of me, as I'm saying something. He's like, I'm sorry, what? Like, he acted like he couldn't hear me. And I kept on saying, I said, I said, blah, blah, blah. He's like, I'm sorry, what? And I said, I said, blah, blah, blah. And at that moment, he and snuck a kiss. Girl, it was so romantic. Can you picture it? You in Malibu, okay? You, at, you, you doing your thing, right? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. We having an amazing time and everything like that. And then we stood and watched the sunset. Both of us just standing with our feet in the water. His jacket's wrapped around me the whole time. Baby, I was in his jacket the whole time, okay? I never parted ways with him, okay? And then after that, he's like, you hungry? I was like, I'm hungry. He was like, yeah, all right, cool. So then we drove. We drove, I think you drive, a little bit further up. And we end up going out to eat. I think we went to Joffrey's or something like that. And then so we go to Joffrey's, we sat there, closed the place down, probably about one o'clock in the morning, eating there by the water. It was so gorgeous. We talked and everything like that. It was beautiful, girls. Oh my God, it was so beautiful. So end of the night, okay, end of the night, he's like, do you have anything to do tomorrow? I said, well, you done took my whole evening. And he's like, he's like, come on. He's like, come on, what you gotta do tomorrow, for real? I was like, oh, I don't know. I said, I think I have to something or whatever, I don't know. He's like, well, what time is that? I was like, it's in the evening. It's in the evening. He's like, okay. He's like, well, cool. Well, then you don't have an early morning. Don't judge me. Thank you, Gloria, for sharing this as well as Nancy. Don't judge me on Mary Ann, who just shared this video. Please don't judge me. I said, why does my early morning matter to you? He said, because, you know, I didn't want to, I just felt like, you know, maybe we can go a little later this evening. I said, go later where? Um, I was like, I was like, I'm not going to your house. He's like, I'll, he's like, that's all right. I'll take you to, I'll, I'll go to yours. I was like, and I was so embarrassed. I was like, I said, let me tell you this. I said, I just need to be straight up with you. Cause we having good intimate talks on the beach. I was like, I need to be straight up with you. I just moved here. My furniture has not arrived yet. <laughs> My furniture has not arrived yet. Okay, and so, you know, my apartment is just kind of bare right now because, you know, stuff, it takes time for it to get here. Girl, I've been there for months, okay? It takes time for stuff. I'm making up stories at this point, right? He's like, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. So we get to my place. I don't have no living room furniture, right? So where are we going to go? What are we going to do? Sit at my, on my one bar stool, right? And so we walk in there and literally the living room is empty. D, empty. Thank you so much, Shirley, for sharing this video as well as Lionel. Thank you for sharing this video. So I get in there and he comes in and he's like, he's like, I'm proud of you. That's the first thing he says. I'm embarrassed as I'm opening my door. And he's the first thing he says to me is, I'm proud of you. I said, why are you proud of me? And then he says, because I know it ain't easy to move across the country and leave everything you know. I know financially that can't be easy, but above all, it's just not easy to do that. And you did that. I'm proud of you. And in that moment, I felt so comfortable. Thank you for sharing this video, Joy, as well as Missy. I felt so comfortable and I felt so just at ease. And then so I was like, well, I really don't have nothing for us to sit on. And he's like, that's cool. He sits down on the ground in my living room, presses his back up against the wall and said, here, come sit in my lap. Right? So I came and sat in his lap and literally we sat there and he pulls out his phone, right? And we sat there watching like videos, live music performances on YouTube. I'm talking Whitney, Mariah. I'm talking Patti LaBelle. We watching all that nothing but love songs, nothing but love songs, right? And he's, he's holding his phone there the whole time. I at least had Wi-Fi. And so anyway, we sitting there and then we're just watching, watching, watching. That's just what we have on. He's like, he's like, let me show you this performance. I bet you don't know this. And we just, are, it's, it was an intimate moment. Before I know it, I fall asleep on his chest. I just fall backwards. He falls asleep. I wake up, it's the middle of the night and he's still sitting there, we're knocked out. So I get up off the floor, cause I mean, my butt hurt at that point. I'm sitting, on the, I'm sitting on the carpet floor. And so I get up and I was like, I'm like, mm, mm. And it's the middle of the night. And so I was just like, um, I was like going to my room and I was like, I cannot leave this man sitting on the floor. 
And so he kind of wakes up. He's like, he's like, oh my God, I didn't realize it's so late. I was like, yeah. And I was like, you can come in the room if you want to. Right? I was not planning nothing. I swear to God, I was not planning anything. But I was like, I said, you can come in the room, you know, if you want to. And then so he's like, all right, cool. So I grabbed his hand. I can't lift him up. You know, I act like I was pulling him up. And he comes in there. And I was like, I don't have no shorts for you to wear. And you cannot wear your outside clothes in my bed. You don't wear no outside clothes in my bed. <sighs> girls. Girls, girls. Girls, girls, girls. I didn't tell you that his body was on point. I'm not going into detail because your kid is going to be watching. But just trust and believe, honey, all right? Trust and believe, honey. He takes his shirt off, takes his pants off. He left his, his you know, his undergarment on, okay? But baby, it took everything in my spirit not to stare at him. So I just wanted to turn. It, this man looked like he was made in a gym. This man looks like literally just, he looked like an Instagram model. This man looked like he needed to, he looked amazing, okay? And I didn't want to stare at him because in my mind, I'm like, I'm not trying to go there tonight. I'm not trying to go there. And if I stare at him, he's going to get that energy from me because our chemistry is amazing. I can't stare at him because I don't want to get that energy. I'm trying to protect myself from myself. Because you see what I'm saying? Listen. So anyway, listen, listen, listen. So I jump, I can lay on my little side of the bed here on his side. And next thing I know, that big old long arm reaches around and yanks me closer to him. He's like, come on over here. So I was trying to be on the other side. And he cuddles up with me and his face is in my neck. He falls asleep and he just breathing up in my neck. Honey, he ain't snoring neither. But he like breathing up in my neck the whole time and just holding me tight. It felt so comfortable. He had those long arms. You know, I'm all pocket size and everything like that. It was just perfect, you know, and I wasn't even that hot. Because normally I don't like men to hold me like that. So I be getting hot. You know, you can hold me in the beginning, hold me at the, once in the morning. But throughout the night, you got to let me go, honey. I need to be free. I know I look all pretty and delicate, but I like to sleep. I don't need that. Not through the night. And so, anywho, listen, listen, listen. So, we get, so the next morning we wake up and everything like that. Let me just put it to you like this. It was on and popping. And it was perfection. You ever had somebody where you have amazing chemistry with them, but then you fear that once y'all go to that level... It's like, oh my God, what if it doesn't play up to it? Or it just doesn't play up to it at all? And it's like, oh my God, we had all this chemistry and it's horrible now. Thank you for sharing this video, Tia and Jessica. Girls, that chemistry and how powerful it was, how it made my heart jump out of my chest to look at him in the eyes, how amazing it felt just to be wrapped up in his coat on the beach as I'm walking with him and have those strong arms wrapped around me, how amazing it felt to sit in his lap as he held me and we watched videos all night. Baby, baby, baby. That was the appetizer to the five course meal that I was about to encounter, honey. The chemistry, when it came to, girl, next level, next level, okay? This is the kind of chemistry that makes you say literally, I'm going where you want me to go. My ring size is an eight and a half, honey. And I am willing to, I'm willing to start a family and raise, and raise these kids with you starting like an hour from now. Let's do this, okay? It was that kind of chemistry, honey. I saw wedding bells. I saw fireworks. It was amazing, okay? Enough said, okay? And the kids, if you're asking what Uncle MJ is talking about, I'm talking about the powerful energy when we pray together. Okay, you know, mm -hmm. okay? Okay, so anywho, I was so floored. He told me, he's like, I can't wait to see you again. He's like, I'm gonna have to be away for, um, for a week, but you know, um, when I get back, I'd love to see you again. Is that all right with you? I was like, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So he goes, I do what any good girl does. I call my best friend to tell her about this whirlwind last two days I had had, okay? And my best friend's a guy, but I, was, I call her my girl, right? And so I call, I'm like, this is amazing. You know, I call my grandmother too, because my other best friend. I told, I was like, this is amazing. Blah, blah. I didn't tell who he was, nothing like that. I've kept, you know, I'm very secretive. I'm very private about, about that kind of stuff. I will never, ever, ever tell anybody's identity because I don't know his situation in terms of if he's out or not. Mm -mm. And so I never. So I didn't even tell them. But I was like, I met this guy, blah, blah, blah. So I'm all about the chemistry. 
my grandmother, okay? My grandmother's always on it, okay? That's why you gotta have an old girl in your life, a seasoned girl in your life, okay? These young folks don't wanna listen to seasoned girls. They think that just because you live long, some of you out of touch. No, you live long enough to do everything, and that's why you got the good knowledge, okay? Click like and click share on that, okay? The, the old girls know it best. And I'm not saying old in a in negative way. I'm just saying, let's call a thing a thing. So I call up, I'm like, oh my God, that's so amazing. I'm telling the whole story. Me and my grandmother talk about everything, right? And then she's like, that's nice. That's nice. Is he single? Excuse me. Is he single? I said, um, yeah, I'm sure he is. She said, no, 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 no. I didn't ask what you would show up. I asked, do you know? Is he single? I said, Grandma, I was with him for two days straight, basically, like, um, yeah, he's single, whatever. I'm, I'm sure he is. We didn't even go into talking about that. You know, she's like, I was like, he would have mentioned that. She said, baby, don't be, she said, you're pretty, but don't be stupid. <laughs> if you didn't ask and he didn't say, maybe you should ask. I was thinking, why, I was thinking, how would he have the time to spend with me all night if he was in a relationship? How about this? How about that? How about the other, right? So I want to bring it up to him, but like I said, he's out of town. I was like, is that something you bring over the phone? I like him a lot. And girls, I was young and I, now see at this age, honey, I'll bring up anything first moment, first day. You married? You in a relationship? Is there anyone who thinks they had a relationship with you? Is there anybody who will be offended by the idea that you out with me right now, honey? I'm just putting it out there in the beginning. I'm too old to play games. Thank you so much, June and Dorothy, for sharing this video. Let me know y'all shared and right shared in here once you share. This story is heating up, okay? Because it's about to get there. So anyway... It's out of town. I didn't want to pester him. I never pester a man. So when he gets back to town, right, he hits me up. He says, hey, beautiful. I remember that text message. It said, hey, beautiful, with a heart beside it. He said, you still want to see me again? My heart jumps out my chest. I'm not thinking about asking him about no relationship. I put that in the back of my mind. I was like, yes, okay? And he's like, okay, cool. And he says, um, he says would you be open to taking a, um, like a weekend trip? I'm thinking, okay, it's kind of fast, but whatever. And so I was like, yeah, sure. He's like, okay, cool. We're going to go to Laguna Beach. Laguna Beach is being like an hour and a half in LA, right? Mm -hmm. So we go to Laguna Beach. He has the nicest convertible. Okay, it's like one of those Mercedes S-Class convertibles. Money, girls, money. And I've never been a gold digger, but I can spot money. Okay, so anyway... We ride down and everything like that. It was such a nice car ride. His hand is holding mine the whole car ride. Riding down there, honey. We listen to all the music. We listen to Sade, baby. We listen to Anita Baker, baby. We listen to even Yonsei. Baby, we riding down there, okay? We having a good time. We get down there, honey. We check into this cute little hotel by the water and everything like that. When we get there, the woman's like, she says, um, at the desk, she said, um, she, she, she's checking him in. And then she says to him, she says, she's, um, she's the room for you and your husband are ready. listen to see what he correct her and he's like he said thank you so much and he turns back at me and winks at me like girl 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 the whole idea of, are you in a relationship i'm not thinking about that right we go to the hotel room now let me tell you this okay okay you taking me on trips taking me places everything like that when i was a young girl i was a little hot i'm just, I'm just saying that i was a little hot if you know what i mean a little hot a little hot pot you see what I'm saying? So anyway, honey, we wasn't in that hotel room for a half hour before I before I, I told him thank you, if you know what I mean. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm leaving it at that. I'm leaving it at that. I ain't saying nothing else. So anyway, did, mm -hmm. went to dinner, honey, worked up an appetite, went to dinner. Had a wonderful dinner, honey. It was fabulous and everything like that. He had a special little menu made. They had did like a special little menu and everything like that. And I remember when we were on the beach and I told him about my favorite foods. He had a honey, special menu. Ate there, honey. Spent the weekend together. Drove back. I think we drove back like on a Sunday. We went there on the Friday, drove back on the Sunday. Right? Drove back. It was amazing. He says, I got to go out of town again for work this week. But when I get back, I want to see you, right? And so I'm thinking he's doing something. I'm not going to detail because I don't want to give any identifiers about what he does. Um, but anyway, I'm not paying no mind, right? And I'm young. I'm naive. I'm new to LA. I didn't know how these men moves, right? And, and a part of me was a little enamored with the fact that he was famous. I've never been into like famous guys. That was never my thing or anything like that. But 
it was like, okay, you know, this guy is nice and cute and likes me and blah, blah, blah. And I'm not telling anybody about him in any way, shape, or form. And that's the thing. You should never date in secrecy. You need to tell somebody who you're talking to so you can get some feedback. Because when y'all be trying to keep everything to yourself, then you can't get feedback. And here's how I know that, okay? So I wasn't telling nobody nothing. And this was going on for a little bit now. A good couple months or whatever. I would see him. He'd be away for a couple of days. See him for a couple of, It just was what it was. And I really avoided ever bringing anything up to him. Then one day, one day, one day, one day, one day, I'm talking to my grandmother and my grandmother's like, so what's going on with that guy you told me about? Because I be noticing that sometimes you be, I don't be hearing from you at night. You know, I know I call my grandmother because she be up late and I be calling her and she's like, sometimes I be hearing from you at night. You still hanging out with him? I said, yeah. She said, well, you ain't talking about him. So why ain't you been talking about him? Thank you for sharing this video, Trinetta and Jackie. Okay. And so I was like, well, ain't nothing. And honey, you know what we do. When we know, when we know we don't want, we don't want nobody questions, so we don't talk about nothing, do we? Okay. But listen, honey, your secrecy can put you in a bad situation. I was like, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. He's been really nice. I'm telling about how everything's, I'm telling about how everything's going like the past couple of months, you know, hoping to show her it's been amazing. I'm trying to prove something to her. And she says, okay. And what happened when you talked to him about, is he single or not? So the phone call got quiet. I said, I said, um, I said, he's good, Grandma. No, 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 no. No, what happened when you talked to him about it? What was his exact answer? So my grandmother know what to do. She just asked the question. I'm, and I'm just like her now. Oh, my God. You, honey, I'm going to ask you that question until I get to the answer. And I said, well, and thank you for sharing this video, um, Goldie and um, Neil, as well as um, Kevin. Thank you for sharing this video. Let me know y'all shared it. And so I was like, I said, well, I mean, we didn't officially have that conversation specifically, but we've been spending a lot of time together. Grandma, trust me, if he was with somebody, I would have known it by now, right? And, and she said, okay, well, he do seem to go on a lot of trips, huh? I said, well, you know, he's working. Mm -hmm. I think you should talk to him about that. I was like, okay, why is she so fixated on this, right? And I asked her, why are you so fixated on this? And she said, I don't mean no harm, but... With him to be such a good catch, unless you just met him right at the right time, it's hard to believe he's single. And I'm, you know, good men be available too, but you should ask that, you know? I said, okay. So the next time I saw him, we sitting there and you know, we enjoyed our time together. We had a special kind of chemistry. Could never, I couldn't be around him for 10 minutes without, you see what I'm saying? And so we enjoyed our time and I'm laying me up on him. I said, baby, I said, this, but at this time, point in time, I'm calling baby, okay? He may even, even slipped in the I love you, and I said, I love you too by this point in time. I was like, baby, I was like, this is such a silly question, but we ain't never talked about this. Are you in a relationship? Baby, the way that body froze, I felt the muscles in his chest tense because my head lifted. I was on his chest. Lifted up. He's... He said, and he pulls his, he pulls back like this, like, why you ask that? Not the answer I wanted to hear. Why you ask that? I said, um, I'm laying on the chest. I was like, I just was asking. We never talked about it. And he was like, oh, oh. I hear him making this. He's like, oh. and so then, you know, I can go from in love to something different real fast. I was like. I was like, is this something you need to talk to me about? Because the girl, now my heart is pounding. Boom, 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 boom. And then so he said, um, he's like, well, um, I mean, he's like, it's really not that big a deal. I was like, well, just talk about it. It's not a big deal. What's going on? He's like, I'm kind of separated from my wife right now. I said, What? And I was like, but y'all separated. So what that mean? Like y'all are moving towards divorce. I know like in certain states you have to be like separated, living separately like for a year or something like that before you can do divorce. So I'm like, I was like, so y'all like moving towards the divorce or something like that? Yeah, you know, we're we trying to work towards that, you know, and everything like that. It's complicated and everything like that. We got, you know, with our kids. Kids? How many kids y'all got? Two. I said, how old are the kids? Four and one. One. Recent. I said, oh, I said, you never, why you never brought them up before? That's why I was more concerned. I was just concerned with separation and more concerned why I never heard about this before. I was like, we've been hanging for a couple months. Why, 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 why did this never come up before? And he says, he's like, well, I mean, just, you know, we've been enjoying each other. He's like, and to be quite honest, I never asked you about your past neither. I said, but 
true, but we talking about your present, not my past. I'm, you know what I mean? Like and I said, if you did, would ask about my past, we were talking about. It's like you said, it just never came up. So in my mind, I kind of was like getting sucked things. I'm like, oh, well, he right. It never did come up, really. And I never asked, and he never asked me, so maybe he's right. So, you know, we just chilled out, went to bed. It was a little awkward, but the next day, enjoyed ourselves or whatever. I called my grandmother. I was like, well, this is what he said, blah, blah. So he is separated and blah, blah. And so she's like, I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that. I said, oh, my God. Why, Grandma? She said, because don't you think that's a, something relevant to bring up? I said, yeah. She said, yeah, that, that, that don't sound honest to me. I said, well, Grandma, he didn't lie. It just never came up. But no, 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 no. The, the dishonesty was in the silence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he lied by not telling you. Uh-huh. Don't you see that? That's what she said to me. Whenever she think I'm being dumb. So, like, Do, don't you see that? Why don't you see that? Why don't you want to see that? I was like, oh my God. I said, Grandma, so what am I supposed to do at this point? I'm mad. I'm getting mad at her. You know how you take it out on the person who bringing you the news you probably need to hear? I'm like, Grandma, what am I supposed She said, what's his name, baby? Because I never said his name. I was so secretive. I never said his name. I said, um, I said his first name. That's a common first name. What's his last name? I knew exactly what she was doing, honey. If Grandma don't know how to do nothing else, she can be Inspector Gash on that damn internet, okay? She, her, my mama, all of them, okay? Those women know how to research. My mother, you tell her something within 0.5 seconds. All right, I done found that. Here it is right here. See, right, right, right. I'm sending, I'm sending it because, you know, they got the little iPhone computer. They got the um, Mac computer, so they can just send a text message directly to your phone from the computer. They be like, uh-huh, I found this, I found this, I found this, I found this. I said, his name is blah, 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 blah. Uh, huh. She said, you ain't bothered to look it up? And truth be told, I didn't Google him. I don't, I don't do that. I didn't Google him. I mean, I was aware of who he was. I had seen his Instagram, but I didn't like go do some deep dive Google on the man. And she said, yeah, see right here, he married to someone, so they got married however long ago, and blah, say blah, say blah. And yeah, she's, oh, she's successful herself. He mentioned her name. I said, oh, I've heard of her before. And I'm like, oh my goodness. I was like, but Grandma, that don't mean nothing. He did tell me that he was married and they separated. Oh, how long ago he said they separated? I said, I don't know. I know they have a one-year-old and I don't know. I was like, damn, I should have asked my long and separated. separated. And she said, well, right here, I'm looking at this picture here. And this, is, I found this on the Google search for the pictures. And this is just six months ago. And they look mighty cozy here. I look at the picture. They was at some event. Now, mind you, I had met him probably at that point three or so months ago prior so i'm like dang how y'all go from cozy and in pictures to that in such a short period of time when you come to spend all this time with me i was confused baby i was confused i said all right grandma i saved the screenshot to my phone so the next time i saw him i see him he's like hey i'm in here from you this week you've been you've been kind of quiet with responding i didn't know what to say so I was like, yeah, I was like, this isn't so busy and blah, 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 blah. You know, I'm trying to get established here, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I saw this picture right here. And he was like, oh, yeah, 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 that's, that's so-and-so. Real nonchalant, yeah, that's so-and-so. I said, I know who she is, but the date say that this was taken three months ago. No, nah, that's just the date that they probably posted it, though. Because, no, nah, this was months and months before that. Lies, 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 because the event. My grandmother looked it up to verify the date, right? That event really did happen, how maybe six months ago, whatever it was. I said, well, I don't know. Maybe it's something going on because there were other pictures that, and that event seemed to take place that day. And he's like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? And he had never been like aggressive or anything like that way towards me before. And he's like, why are you doing this? I said, doing what? He's like, why are you doing all this? Why, what, what's the point? Come on now. If I, 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 how can I be with anybody else if I'm spending my time with you? I was like, but you don't spend all your time with me. I see you on weekends. I see you, you always working somewhere else. And I said, to be quite honest, I don't really ask about your work because that's just not something I talk about. But I really don't know the project you're working on. I was like, what is the project you're working on? He's like, it ain't that big a deal. I was like, well, it must be a big deal if you're going away every week. Just about. I'm thinking so a lot of people fly to Atlanta to work. They fly to Vancouver to work. Hollywood is not just Hollywood. People fly at different places to film because it's cheaper to film and everything like that. So a lot of movies are shot there. You got movies shot in, in Cape Town. You know what I mean? People are not always shooting things in the location you think. And so um, 
I was like, yeah, but you go away every week, blah, blah, blah. And it starts to click to me, click to me, click to me. I was like, oh my God, what if he's going home during the week, which could be literally in Sherman Oaks Fall, I know, right? And he's telling her he's going away for the weekend for work. What if we're each getting stories, right? Because the separation story didn't make sense to me because how uncomfortable he was when I brought it up. When somebody's telling you the truth, they don't act uncomfortable with talking about the truth. I'm going to say it again. When somebody tells you the truth, they don't act uncomfortable with talking about the truth. When they get defensive, when they get mean, when they shut down, they're lying to you. Listen, when they get defensive, when they shut down, when they get aggressive, they are lying to you. Right? And so I said... I said, it's fine. It's fine. I said, it's not that big a deal. I said, well, you know, we always spend time in my place. So we going on weekend excursions to Santa Barbara, Montecito, Laguna Beach, Palm Springs. It was always a weekend excursion on his dime because I ain't had no money, right? I am feeling like I'm being wined and dined. You know what I mean? And I was like, you know, I was like, you know, I would love, why don't this weekend, why don't we just spend it in town? Like, we can spend it at your house because I really got no furniture like that. And then he's like... He's like, nah, nah, nah. Let's just, let's just, I like, I like the escape of it all. You know, Look, why don't, I like going places. And this weekend I was planning, we're going to go to Big Bear or whatever. I was like, I said, I know I ain't been to Big Bear before, but I just want to spend a time in, in town. I want to get to know you more being in your space. He's like, nah, baby. So he did what he does. And I, I didn't recognize he did. So whenever I'd ask him hard questions in the past, he gets close to me, start kissing on my neck and everything like that. And before you know it, baby, before you know it, before you know it. You see what I'm saying? I'm hypnotized. Okay? Before you know it, honey. 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 He was gifted. And so he started doing all that. I was like, mm 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 Kissing on my neck. I was like, uh-uh, baby. I was like, no, 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 for real. I want to see your house. You be telling me you love me. Telling me you want to spend forever with me. Like, at some point, I need to see your house. I mean, I'm sure your house is better than my house. Right? He like, ah. Oh. He was like, he's like, eventually, eventually. Girls, when you left there, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew for a fact. I knew for a fact he was busted. So what I did, oh God, girls, okay? I had a good friend who I had met by this point in time. Wouldn't, they would eventually become my good friend, but this is like a newer friend I met in L.A., who was really on the social scene. One of these LA girls where you really don't know what they do for a living. Like you don't even know if they have a job for real, but they be everywhere and they be dressed nice. You don't know what they do. It's a lot of them there, but that's cool. And so I was just like, girl, I was like, you be everywhere. She's like, yeah. And I was like, I do not want to tell this man's business. So I was like, how do I bring him up, him up without bringing him up? I was like, you know that guy um, that, you know, he does this. You know that guy, I be forgetting his name. And she says, oh, you mean so-and-so, so-and-so? I was like, yeah. And then she says, girl, like that. Pulls a little bang to the side, girl. I said, what? She said, mm-mm. She said, how you know him? I said, I just ran into him somewhere. I don't even know him like that. And she says, I hear he like ones like you. I said, what you mean ones like me? Pretty. I say, what you mean? I was like, I thought he liked women. I'd be a real coy. I thought he liked women. And she said, girl, for real? Come on now. Come on. You ain't stupid. I was like, how would I know? I don't know him like that. Like, how would I know his business? Again, I ain't trying to tell nobody's business. I'm trying to get tea on him without telling nothing. And so I was like, girl, she's like, okay, well, you can play dumb all you want. All I'm saying is I heard that he liked ones like you. I was like... Huh? And I'm thinking in my mind, what you know, what you don't know. And I was like, oh, I was like, I was like, but, I was like, but how can he like anybody? I was like, he married. I, I, don't they have a one year old or something like that? You know, girl, that ain't never mattered. That ain't never mattered, honey. He said before they got married, apparently the wedding almost got called off because of him messing around. And apparently word on the street was he wasn't just messing around with women. It was with men. He didn't care. He liked everybody. And she stuck with him. Or whatever, and blah, 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 had the baby. I guess maybe she had the baby thinking to keep him around. I don't know what it was. I said, but I heard they separated. I think I read that someplace. Girl, I ain't read nothing. So I'm now giving away teeth. I'm trying to get more information. I said, I heard they were separated anyway. I was like, I think I read that online somewhere. 
Girl, they had not separated. I said, why you say that? I said, girl, they renewed their vows two, week two weeks ago. You heard me coming closer, coming closer and click like and click share Maria, Roslyn and Monica. And thank y'all for sharing this video for those who just shared it and let me know y'all shared it like Ellis and Keisha. I said, what? I said, for real? Now this girl ain't stupid, okay? This thing's stupid. This, this is a, a good old Georgia girl, honey. One of these girls from, from, uh, from Atlanta, okay? She migrated to LA, but she ain't stupid, okay? She said, you heard me straight. Uh-huh. Yeah, they redid their vows. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah. Is he still up to his old tricks? Ask me that. Said it's right to my face. Is he still up to his old tricks? Girl, now I'm grieving and I'm mortified. Old tricks, new tricks. Am I the trick? How many tricks are there? Oh, my goodness, right? I said, that's his old tricks. You asked him about him for a reason. Is he up to his old tricks? Now, girl, I don't care what's going on. I am not spilling nobody's tea. I'm not giving nobody's gossip. Okay, I'm not telling nobody nothing. I mean, I'm a still vault. I don't care what you done told me. I don't care how much I hate the person. I'm not telling nothing. I said, I don't even know what you're talking about. I just was asking about him. I said, anyway, how you doing? I changed the subject. And she's like, I'm good. She said, watch yourself in these streets, though. Watch yourself in these L.A. streets. We ain't got to talk about it, but watch yourself in these L.A. streets, honey. All the glitter ain't gold, honey, all right? All the glitter ain't gold. I was like, all right, girl. Honey, I text him, I need to see you now. He's like, um, I'm busy right now. I need to see you now. So he drive over to my house. I come downstairs. He can't come up. I'll come downstairs. I'm going to meet you. He drive me. So we drove down, um, what's that street? Um, drove down Hauser, right? Going towards um, Olympic, right? Pulled over right before we got to Olympic. I was like, just park right here, right? We just pulled over like on a little residential area. I was like, I need to talk to you. He's like, what's up? And why we got to stay here? I was like, because I don't really know where to go to have this conversation. I don't think this is a conversation to have in public. You don't want to go to your house and you can't come into my house. I knew I need to be in a place where, I, where he could not touch me. Because I knew, honey, girl, I'm so fine. Okay, so fine. Okay, you got, when you deal with a man who you have that much chemistry with, or a woman for that matter, you have that much chemistry with, you cannot confront them in a place where y'all can be intimate. Because you're going to get sucked in. Okay? Okay, so I was like, so I was like we're going to be right here in the car. Okay? And you can't do nothing here. And actually he could that happened once and i'm just saying so anyway and so and so i was like so i heard blase blase blah boo, boo, boo. i didn't tell him who i heard it from i was like and i heard this i heard that and he's like who you been talking to who you been talking to he's like you ain't even been here that long you getting into all this the gossip yeah you know people make up stuff people always trying to cancel you people always making up something blah 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 blah, blah. i was like well hold on that's a lot to make up I was like, and then on top of that, I've never been to your house. I only see you on these sporadic days and blah, 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 blah. And I said, just be honest with me. How do you know? I, I lied. I said, how do you know I wouldn't be okay with it? How do you know I wouldn't be okay with your situation? Just be honest with me. Let me make that choice. Let me make that choice. I was like, are y'all really going to get divorced? And now y'all really celebrate? Cel um, are y'all really separated? And he says... Yeah, basically, yeah, our relationship isn't working anymore. I said, it's not working anymore. Y'all are separated. Those are two different things. Like, you can go to the courts and file separation papers. Did y'all file yet? What do you mean it's not working anymore? Plenty of people are trying to, are y'all trying to make it work? Listen, she not ready to end it just yet. You know, everything like that. You got to understand, you know, the public know about it. Are you cheating on her with me? It ain't even like that. It ain't even like that. It ain't even like that. I said, then what is it like? I said, let me ask you this. Who else? Is this the first time? Because I, I said, I heard that I'm not the first time. In fact, and I lied. I said, in fact, they gave me names. I got names, honey. I got people I can DM right now. I said, so you can tell me now or I can verify it later. Am I the first one? Listen, she ain't been perfect neither. Ain't none of us been perfect. But that's, that's why I'm trying to end this because this ain't the right place for me. And I feel like if I can't be faithful to you, I, if I can't be faithful to her, then why would I even stay with her? You know what I'm saying? But I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make this work so I can be with you. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm spending every free moment with you. Every free moment, I'm with you. I said, hold on. This doesn't make sense. You, so you telling me when you're not working, you with me? He's like, yes, I'm telling you. I'm not even, I'm not even spending time with her. I said, no, 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 don't y'all have kids? He was like, yeah. I said, so how do you spend time with your kids? If when you're working, then you come to me when the, on the days you're not working. I'm disturbed by that. How y'all got kids and you're not seeing your kids? 
I can't be more important than your kids. This don't make sense. I don't know too many men who marry who don't want to be around their kids. I said, baby, are you really working or are you at home? I like them square in the eyes. Are you really working or are you at home? He said, He said, come on now, why we got to do this? I said, if you really working, then drive me to your house then. Drive me to your house. If you really separated, drive me over there. Let me meet her. Let me meet her. If y'all really separated and y'all just, you know, roommates is what you call it. Drive me over there. Let me meet her right now. We in the car. We can go there right now. Mm -hmm. I'm respectful. I'm respectful. Let me meet her right now. Honey, I'm about to get gully in this car. I'm about to pop off. Okay, because now my heart is racing. Now my heart is broken. Now I am devastated. I feel deceived. I feel misled. I know this man is lying to my face. And there's nothing worse than sitting in front of a man lying to your face. I said, drive me to the house right now. I would love to meet her. No, no, no. And he's trying to grab me. I said, drive me to the house right now. I want to meet her. I know this man going to drive me to the house. But honey, you know you popping off. And as he's talking, like, drive me to the fucking house right now. I want to meet her. Okay, honey, if I had a ponytail, she'd have been swinging. Just like this. Just a swinging, swinging, swinging. Okay, he ain't never seen the hood girl come out of me. Okay, but baby, let me tell you this. She's in there, and when she comes out, she flips out. Okay, now I'm older now. She don't have to maintain herself. But honey, I was a young dog, and I was brokenhearted, okay? He was like, come on. He's like, he's like, you know what? Forget this, forget this, forget this. He said, F this. I'm driving you back home. I'm like, uh-uh, you ain't got to drive me home. Drive me to your home. So he drive me home, and he pull up at the door. He's like, come on, I'll just see you later. I said, if I get out this car, don't you ever come back to this house again. He's like, come on, don't be like that. I said, if I get out this car right now, and you don't take me over there, don't you ever come back here again. He is set there like the steering at the steering wheel. He said, I'm not driving you there. I'm not taking you there. And I lean my face right up because he's facing forward at the like at the wind like facing out the window like you know the windshield or whatever and I'm beside him in the passenger seat so I turn towards him like this and I got up my nose right up against his cheek I said cause you a liar and you ain't work you a lying piece of I'm in his ear I was so mad girl I was so mad I'm like you ain't this and you ain't that my heart was broke you know when your heart broke you just say anything and this and I'm going in, and you ain't worth nothing and blah 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 and you ain't this and you and you heartless you soulless and he's just not reacting he's like get out of my face you know I said what you gonna do what you gonna do you gonna hit me don't ever say that to a man because sometimes because some of them might actually do that don't do that that was a mistake right he luckily he didn't hit me but I was mad girl you know I was a young girl okay and so I'm like, I'm like, you know what? Forget this, forget this, forget this. You ain't da 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 and so on so forth, for a bar, and so on da da And he said, he said, he said, he said, so what's happening now? What you just done with me? What you gonna go tell everybody about what happened? I said, I would never tell everybody about what happened. I said, I'm not gonna stoop that low. I'm not gonna stoop that low. Cause I, I'm not, I don't care how mad I am at you. I ain't doing that. And so uh, I said, don't you ever come to me again. Don't you ever lose my number. Blah, 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 blah. Right? Just going gully on, just going gully. Thank you for sharing this video, y'all. And then he's like, and he says to me, he's like, his chin, that chin just, uh, just, I said, oh, you mad? You mad now. Now, one thing about me, I said, don't you ever ask me if he's going to hit you. Don't do that. But for me, I wasn't afraid to ask that because I can fight. Don't think that I'm small, baby. I got two bigger brothers, okay? I was, I was raised as a little gay boy in the hood, honey. If I don't know how to do nothing else, I know how to fight. Okay, I know how to fight. Okay, I know how to pop off. Okay, and so I'm like, I'm ready for it. Okay, not that I wanted to do that, but I saw that little chin shaking. And you know, where I'm from, when the, when the dude's chin starts, he like he, he building up that pressure, that pressure gonna pop. Baby, go ahead and pop, right? I ain't wanna fight, but I was a young broad back then. Okay, maybe I was a little toxic. I was a little toxic, like slightly toxic, a little toxic, a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, I was a lot, a little toxic. Anyway, so then. I like I said, oh your little chin shaking. I said, what you mad? What you mad that I'm confronting you? Oh you oh big man mad? You ain't what you too big to be confronted, huh? Or you think just because you famous you can't be confronted, blah blah blah. I was like, no, 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 no. You can you can break people's heart. <sighs> Girl, next thing I know, the tears start coming down his face. Down his face. And these were big tears. He starts banging on the steering wheel. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this. 
I, I love you. I want to be with you. I, I don't know how to do this. I can't be myself. I can't be myself. When can I be myself? Nobody going to accept me as me. Girl, he started pouring his heart out on me. He was real. He, he's like, ain't nobody going to accept me as me. I, I, how am I going to be myself? I got a child. I ain't even want to be with her in the first place. And then the first child came. And then next, you know, the second child came. I, I, I don't know how to get out of this. And blah, 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 blah. I was buying it for just a moment. Just for a moment, right? And then he leans towards me. I was like, baby, just be patient with me. I didn't seen enough movies about cheating, lying men to know that just be patient with me is code for let me keep on making you the other person. I said, uh-uh. He's trying to grab me to pull me close. I said, uh-uh, honey. I mushed his face. You know what I mean by mush his face? You do like that. I said, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Wait for you? I said, let me explain something to you. I said, if your life was really that important to you and your happiness was really that important to you, if your children who you claim that you don't really see like that were important to you, guess what you would do? You would be done with her, okay? Because it's cruel to keep a woman in a relationship. She thinks y'all are working to something more or something better. Meanwhile, you spending your time with me. God knows that she knows what you're doing with me. Let's just go there right now, okay? Second of all, if you wanted to be a better man, you would be showing your kids a different example because you're not raising your kids to be nothing more than what you are, okay? By showing them this kind of relationship. Third of all, I should wait for you. What indefinitely? Oh, oh no. Okay, I mushed his face. I get out the car. I'm going to my door. He jumped out the car, ran to the door to grab my arm. No, 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 no. Big grown man on the street. Now, luckily it's dark out, so fortunately, I don't hopefully people ain't know what it was. He was doing all this honey. We was making a scene on 8th Street. Okay. I go into my building and everything like that. I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Close the door and everything like that. Honey, the neighbors is watching, and honey, you know, I ain't care. I'm loud, and he at the door, come on, let me in. I'm like, no, 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 I go out there, girls, I break down crying, 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 okay? I told him I never call him again. I just blocked him. I blocked the phone number. I didn't block the Instagram, okay? <sighs> let me tell you this real fast, okay? This story is going long. I got to give y'all a part two later. So just wait up for it, okay? Make sure you like, follow, share, and subscribe to get part two. But let me tell you this, okay? Trust your instincts up front because it'll save you from a whole lot of heartache, okay? I'm going to give y'all part two later on, okay? Give me like a day or two to get that, all right? But let me tell you this right now. Honey, you ain't seen nothing yet. This part one, honey.